Hi guys, thank you for joining me today. Um, this is actually a part two of the Travis Scott concert video I did yesterday that got uh, interrupted because I was having a lot of audio problems, uh, distortions, and I do apologize for that. Um, it's almost as though someone didn't want me to give the rest of my message. But I'm just back for a short video <clears throat> to kind of capture some of the things that were um, distorted on my last video that you could not understand or make out. First thing I want to say is we as a society have just completely given over our will. We have given over our will, our minds, we cannot reason. We've given over our power. God has given us peace, love, and a sound mind. That is our power. That is our power. We're living in fear all the time. And I'm saying, I'm just putting we as, as I'm not doing it, but just collectively, we people, we the people, are giving over our God given mind. God has given us the mind to reason. He's given us a sound mind. A mind to understand and discern and to be able to um, reason things out and uh, <clears throat> to be able to see things for what they are. To talk together, to, to reason together. Those are the things that God wanted us to do with our mind, but today, unfortunately, we are in an era where people have totally just given over for some simple pleasures, given over their minds, their will, their freedom. Okay? Just given it over. Whatever you say, government, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Maya Angelou coined a phrase saying that, well, first of all, a very wise phrase. She said, when someone shows you who they are, believe them. In other words, people wear masks. People try to disguise themselves. At least that's what they used to do. Today, they don't really have to do much to disguise themselves, clearly. People will take anyone and just say, oh, yeah, well, I know he looks satanic and his, his uh, album covers are very demonic, but I'm sure he's still a really good person inside and he goes to church and he, he doesn't really worship the devil or anything. When someone shows you what they really are and who they really are, you need to believe them the first time. People will say, oh, well, you can't judge a book by its cover. Yes, you can. You can tell a whole lot about the cover. And once you see that, we need to believe that that's who they are. You know what it boils down to? It boils down to what we are allowed to do. There's just too much allowance. Parents give allowances to their children. We give allowances. We, we allow them to do certain things as they get older to teach them responsibility, things like that. But um, parents, come on now. We got to have some discernment. You don't take your children to concerts like this. You don't send them out to the wolf. You're supposed to protect them, and you just don't have any discernment. People just do not think. I mean, people like Lil Nas will say he doesn't give a blank about your kids. He's telling you. He's telling you right there. Believe him the first time. Came out of the horse's mouth. 
And this whole thing with Travis Scott, this is not the first time this has happened. I mean, just look at his album covers and what he represents, what he stands for. Everyone likes to overlook so many things, give allowances. Oh, I'm going to allow this. I'm going to bring this into my home. I'm going to allow my child to go to this concert. I'm going to allow him to listen to this music and tattoo his body and do these things. I mean, the parents are not parenting anymore. They're just allowing too many things. And sadly, some of the parents are listening to the same music. Come on now, wh where are you? We, we have got to work together. That is why the world is the way it is now. Parents do not want to teach their children right from wrong. And sadly, the, the, the scary part of it is that I don't even know if they do know right from wrong because we're living in a time where evil is good and good is evil. Just so much confusion and then not having any common sense. Reasoning skills are out the window. So it's making it easier for these predators to snatch up kids because they look forward to parents uh, dropping the ball, not keeping a watchful eye so they can snatch them up. Sometimes parents willingly give their children over. That's another, that's another video. But um, yeah, this is why this is happening continuously and that same rebellious spirit that that rebellious energy which is as witchcraft is continuing to happen over and over again so there is no wonder where when Halloween is celebrated and since they were children little kids toddlers even before they even knew what Halloween was it was it was basically forced on them and, and forced on all of us. Oh, isn't it great to be scared? It's not scary. It's a happy Halloween. Even though everything in your being sees these demonic satanic images, we were taught that even though things looked evil and spooky and scary and demonic and <clears throat> just all of those things, very satanic. We weren't supposed to be afraid. I mean, it, it, we could be scared in the haunted house, but that was supposed to be good fear. Good fear, because, you know, we were just overcoming our fears even. Oh, we see a, we see a, um, a vampire, see a witch, a werewolf, a demon. Walking Dead zombie? Oh, that's just just stand up to that. There are no monsters. There's no such thing as this and that. There's no such thing as uh, the boogeyman. That's what parents have taught. Teaching two different things, you know. Oh yeah. Oh, don't talk to strangers. But yeah, you can go. And you can, you know, go to these different places and celebrate this Halloween, you know, and, and trust me, candy, okay, that's fine. But really what we're doing is telling our children that they can, um, you know, someone is pimping them, basically, pimping them for candy. They're going door to door, you know, for some candy. Unfortunately, that the sweets, the goodies that they're getting... That is not going to help with the dreams, the, the nightmares they're going to have that night. Coffins and cemeteries and just, it, it worships dead, the dead. They want a lot of death. But that is still, oh, that's just them. They just want candy. It's, it's, it's okay. They just want the candy, you know. They just want to have fun. They just want to dress up. It's not, no harm, no foul. I mean, you know, it's just... Zombies, literally. It is literally the walking dead. The true walking dead are people who do not see what's going on. 
they're in a stupor, they're, they're asleep. Just allowing kids to go everywhere. Oh yeah, they can go here, they can go to that venue. They, it, it looks like just the portal to hell. Oh, that's fine. It's just, that's just, you know, it's fireworks. It's okay. It's just for the show to hype up the crowd. That's it. Um, yeah. This is why this stuff continues to happen. Not only is it allowed, but it is, uh, people are complicit in it. It's either omission or commission. Remember that. Omission or commission, you're participating in this. So we have things like that, Halloween, of course, and horror movies. Horror movies, we've been taught, oh, that's fun too. It's good to be scared. So that is a part of why, as a whole collective, a lot of people are just desensitized to things like this. So when they see Travis Scott, they saw the Astro World Festival, they saw the venue, how everything looked so evil, satanic. They were just like, well, this is what his album covers look like anyways. And they're so used to seeing it, I mean, for decades, obviously. I mean, remember Kiss and Black Sabbath and, I mean, <clears throat> just a lot of rock groups, pop bands, R&B as well, rap. Um, that show symbols, very evil symbols. And you know that they know what it means. Because they're partakers. They're partakers. And when John Todd warned back in the 70s, he said that um, with the music, they would take the master record that they made, or the, the master, I don't know if it was the master record or the album, but they would take it and they would form a circle and put it in a pentagram, actually, and curse it. Or their satanic blessings, I guess, or curses or whatever. But they would put spells and magic on it so that when it was uh, transferred to copies, it would just be distributed everywhere to everyone. And that's what they did, sending encoded messages. And then, you know, I remember a time back in the 80s when... Uh, you would have churches playing music backwards and, and they would have these subliminal satanic messages and everything. Well, of course, it still goes on today. They're still saying their demonic prayers over their music. But for some reason, once again, because God has given us the ability to discern, the people in our lives want to take that away. The devil wants to take that away. He wants us to call evil good. To look at it as a good thing. No, that's not scary. No, that's not really scary. That you know, because I remember when Marilyn Manson first came out. I was in my twenties, and when I first saw him perform live, I said, "This guy is a devil worshiper, clearly." And one of my friends was like, "No, no, that's just his persona. You know, he's a nice guy. He's not really like that. He doesn't really dress like that." Um. <clears throat> How about, so what? <laughs> I don't care if he's really a nice guy. He is trying to convey an image to us, to the world, that he worships the devil, that he looks like, um, like he is possessed by demons, okay? And I don't want to look at him let alone listen to anything he has to say. There cannot be anything good he has to say. There is nothing positive that he can put into my soul and my life and my spirit, uh, you know, with that energy, with that look and sound. But people will, oh, no, no, this is fine. It's fine. So here we are today, 2021, of course, this is still going on because of the same excuses that people make for their idols. And that's what these people are. These are idols to them. They worship them. Um, one of the guys, I remember when they, <laughs> the news was interviewing the crowd and one of the guys was like, um, oh, I just thank Travis Scott. You know, Travis Scott is, you know, the best. He 
um, all glory goes to Travis Scott, like he like he was worshiping him, you know. And I I really wonder what he how he feels about Travis Scott now after that. But um, you know, idolizing these stars, these rock stars, celebrities, Hollywood stars, actors, whatever they are. And we put them on this pedestal and we excuse everything they do. Collectively. I know I don't because I have been awoke a long time. And well, if you consider 9-11 since 20, 20 years of me looking into this stuff, um, seeing how evil and satanic the music industry is, the movie industry is, the, the military is, when you get down to the heart of it, um, the church is, yeah, um, not the body of Christ, okay, that's different, but when I say church, I mean the organization, how it's run from the Pope, okay, the Catholic Church all the way down. Um, but this is all organized. These are a network of people working together to lure children, to take children's innocence. And again, because it starts at home, parents, yes, we have to do our part. And, and we cannot just let them listen to anything they want and watch whatever they want without at least informing them, especially when they're older, obviously. We, have to, we give them discernment so that they can decide and they can see good versus evil. That is our hope, our prayer. Because today, as I said, <clears throat> evil is called good and good is called evil. So... We know that we're in revelations and everything is being revealed, it's being exposed. And I'm hoping that this is just one more thing that has exposed this world system that we live in, this beast system. Because the beast, obviously, Satan, who wants to kill, steal, and destroy every chance he can get. He wants our minds. He wants our souls. He wants our love. He wants our adoration, our worship. He does. So any time or any way that we can just um, not give in to that dark energy, that demonic spiritual energy is a good thing when we do not give into that. When we do not give into that. Um, <clears throat> finally, the last note was that Travis Scott is, he is with Kyle, Kylie, Kylie Jenner. And of course, Kylie Jenner's mother, Chris, her birthday was on Friday, November 5th the same day as the concert. And there are rumors that they are all witches, which I do believe. I mean, just look at every man who has been in their path. And it's something about that family and why they want black men. Why they want black men and what are they doing and, and, and just having to have this, these children they're beautiful children, and I pray for these children, but there is definitely something there because I, I do believe that they are practicing witches, practicing witchcraft and spells and incantations and, and mind control and, you know, just look at the, the history of the men that they have loved. A few have gotten away, thank goodness. And, uh, but when we just look at Bruce Jenner, again, Bruce used to be he was just the man for me as far as ideals, morals, um, the, the pillar of strength in the family, the voice of reason. When he turned into uh, Caitlin, I said, oh yeah, 
before I thought it was just rumors, but I believe now these people are into some heavy dark magic. For reals. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Um, thank you for tuning in and checking in. And um, I hope to bring you more videos very, very soon. Um, until then, you take care, please. If you haven't already, think about subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you. And uh, just leave a comment. And if you like the video, please give me a like. I appreciate it. Take care, guys. See you the next time.